Vivek Ramaswamy just lit up this reporter for asking this absurd question. Take a look. You didn't say that you condemn white supremacy. Though. I'm not, I'm not going to recite some catechism for you. I'm against vicious racial discrimination in this country. So I'm not pledging allegiance to your new religion of modern wokeism, which absolutely fits, fits the test. I'm not going to bend the knee to your religion. I'm sorry. I'm not asking you to bend the knee to mine, and I'm not going to bend the knee to yours. But do I condemn vicious racial discrimination? Yes, I do. Am I going to play your silly game of gotcha? No, I'm not. And frankly, this is why people have lost trust. And I know you're going to go print the headline tomorrow. I already know this. We already know how your game works. Vivek Ramaswamy Swami refuses to condemn white supremacy because you asked a stupid question. The reality is I condemn vicious racial discrimination in this country, but the kind of vicious and systematic racial discrimination we see today is discrimination on the basis of race in a very different direction. You want to know what the best way is to end discrimination on the basis of race? Stop discriminating on the basis of race. Do that and we're going to move this country forward. And I don't care whether you're black or white or brown or anything in between. That's how we're going to unite this country. You people have been responsible for dividing this country to a breaking point, creating a projection of national division. I meet people from the south side of Chicago to meetings like this one of every shade of melanin, multiple from man to woman, doesn't make a difference, who are hungry for reviving unity in this country. And you, with your catechism that you try to get to politicians to whatever fake headline you're going to print on the basis of this conversation tomorrow, that's what's dividing this country for a break, to a breaking point. Shame on you. Look people in the eye and tell them what you've actually failed to tell them for the last five years. Own the accountability for your own failures as the media. That's how we rebuild trust in this country. And until then, I don't have a lot of patience to play the games. Vivek Ramaswamy is absolutely correct, and he just let this reporter have it. It was well-deserved, though, it sounds like. Uh, she asked this question, trying to set him up in a way where either he answers exactly how she's basically demanding he does, saying, I condemn white supremacy, or she gets to write a vicious headline against him tomorrow in, in, a, in a hatchet job and try to make it sound like he doesn't condemn white supremacy. Only these left-wing mainstream media outlets like the New York Times and the Washington Post could look at Vivek Ramaswamy and say, you support white supremacy. These people are living in an absolute fantasy land and Vivek let them know that uh, he's not gonna play their game. And uh, it's good to see somebody push back against the media in the same energy that Donald Trump did, right? We see so many politicians, even on the right, who just collapse like a cheap suit when they get pressed by the media. They're so scared to look uh, in a uh, unflattering way. They're afraid they're going to be demonized, so they play it safe. Not Vivek, not Trump. Uh, this is the right kind of politics to play when you're dealing with these mainstream media bullies that are just trying to corner you like this. That's what they are, they're bullies. So anyway, let me know what you guys thought of this clip in the comments, and as always, thank you for watching.